was the night before Jesus came and all through the house. Now the preacher was praying, not one in the house. The Bibles were laid on the shelf without care in hopes that Jesus would not come there. The children were dressing and crawled into bed, not once kneeling or bowing their head. And mom and her rocker with babe on her lap was watching the late show while I took a nap. When out of the east there arose such a clatter, I sprang to my feet to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shadows and threw up the flash. When what to my wondering eyes should appear, but angels proclaiming that Jesus was here. With a light like the sun sending forth a bright ray, I knew in a moment this must be the day. The light of his face made me cover my head, for it was Jesus returning just like he had said. I thought I possessed worldly wisdom and wealth. I cried when I saw him in spite of myself. In the book of life which he held in his hand was written the name of the saved from every land. He spoke not a word as he searched for my name. When he said, it's not here, my head hung in shame. The people whose names had been written with love, he was gathering to take to his father above. With those who were ready, he rose without a sound, while all the rest of us were left standing around. I fell to my knees, but it was too late. I had waited too long, and thus sealed my fate. I stood and I cried as they rose out of sight, only if I had been ready tonight. In the words of this poem, the meaning is clear. The coming of Jesus is drawing near. There is only one life, and when it comes at the last call, we will find that the Bible is true after all. How sad it is, today is Christmas Eve, and I have been watching the television and all of what I've seen on television is advertising for cars and clothes, cologne. They have been advertising for trips. They have been advertising for jewelry, everything else. But how sad out of all of what I've seen, I've seen reindeers and sleighs and frosty the snowman. Jack Frost nipping at your nose, but not one commercial have I seen where they have said anything about the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So what I'm doing on this Christmas Eve, I wanted to take a moment to say to all of you, uh, Merry Christmas on this Christmas Eve, and I hope that you remember the meaning of the season. And the meaning of the season is the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The tragedy of Christmas is that we focus on the make-believe. If you take Christ, his birth out of Christmas, everything you see, every cartoon, everything you tell everyone else is only fantasy, only make-believe. The only real thing about Christmas is God masked 
himself. Christ, the Messiah, masks himself. And this is why they call it Christmas. And I hope that you'll remember the real reason of the season. And the real reason of the season is the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I hope someone was blessed by what I read to them. I hope I made them think. I hope they'll call an elderly person, that they'll check on their loved ones. It helps them to realize, dear God, that Christmas is not about what you can get, but what you can give. Give love. Give patience. Give respect. Give forgiveness. And tomorrow, uh, go to some church, some church where God is preeminent, where Jesus is Lord, where the Holy Spirit walks up and down the aisles. I hope that tomorrow, it's something to think about. You have 186 hours in a week, and you telling me you can't go and give God one hour or hour and a half of your time on Sunday morning. And if by chance you're wondering where you want to go tomorrow, I would like to invite you to the New Vision Missionary Baptist Church at Hillcrest, 2800 George Gregg Street in Marshall, Texas, two blocks north of ETBU, only 28 minutes from Shreveport, Louisiana. I would love to see you tomorrow. All roads lead to New Vision Baptist Church. From my family to yours, from uh, my little Snookums, say, hey, Snookums, there you go. Look at Snookums, say, Merry Christmas. All right. Well, y'all have a wonderful day. God bless everybody who hear my voice and watch this video. And help us to be ready because we don't know when you're going to return, but we want to be ready. Help us to forgive people and treat people right. We are not responsible for how people treat us. We are responsible for how we treat people. God bless you all, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day and a very, very blessed Christmas and a prosperous New Year. You take care. Dr. R.L. Moore.